Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. So for today's video, I'm going to be testing out a lot of new makeup and like just like random stuff that I got from CVS because I went there and I recently discovered a new brand that I did not know about. Well, I heard about them, but they never really caught my attention. But I already did my eyebrows and did all that boring stuff and I feel like I did them a little bit too dark. So sorry about that. But I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids. So for primer, this is a really new primer for me. It's the Wet n Wild Long Lasting Primer. The only thing I don't like about the primer is like it's not really tinted. And of course you guys can tell that I have like a lot of veins right here in my eye. And it doesn't really cover it, but okay okay so moving on to the palette um this brand claims to be paraben free dermatologist tested and it is also a cruelty brand which we love and of course the packaging looks like this it's called fruity smoothie and they have a bunch of other palettes but this is the one that really really caught my attention and the back just has like you know this cute like pineapple and a peach and a banana and like all that really cute stuff and then of course it has the ingredients on like all the all the shades, which is kind of cool because it lists like the ingredients on the shade names, which are called, you know, mango, some of them are called strawberry. And the palette also claims to be travel size, which I do, um, which I do see. Give you guys a better perspective, you know, they have they're like, they're like the same size as the ColourPop palettes, so you know it's a, it's a really really good decent travel size palette. And oh, I can't wait to open this again because I opened it so many times. But it comes in like this. Sorry, I'm like recording in like front of my window, so just to give you guys more natural light. But it looks like that. And it comes with the paper, the plastic. And these colors are gorgeous. Like this kiwi right here. Definitely gonna use that color. This um watermelon color right here. Oof. And this one kind of has like a green, but it's like when you look at it from the side, it's like pink. But it has like a green reflection on it. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Like I love this color so much. Okay, but going in with a really, really fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with this color right here that is called Peach. And I'm just going to put that all over my crease. But these shadows are really pigmented. They also have a little bit of fallout, so that's like a problem with you guys. That's just something to know. Going in with a smaller brush, just, this is in Rotten Wild, and this was also a dollar at Dollar Tree. And it's a really, really good brush. I'm going to go in with this shade right here called Watermelon, and I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put that like deep into my crease so I could blend that with like that transition shade. Ugh. They're extremely pigmented. They're really buttery and really easy to blend too. They're not chalky at all. I'm gonna get this like flat but fluffy brush right here and I'm gonna dive into this color right here called Drizzle. Going in with the brush, I applied the trans transition color. I'm gonna just blend everything together. I'm gonna move on to my favorite part, which is gonna be applying the kiwi shade. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go in with a flat, just brush. See how that performs, and then I'm gonna go in, and then I'm gonna go in with some spray. It's still pigmented, like, it's still pigmented with itself, but we're going to go in with some water. With oh, yeah. It's like 10 times more pigmented with a spray. I'm just going to, I'm going to start blending again so we don't, everything looks more smooth. Then with the palette again, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, Drizzle, with that brush we used it with. 
I'm gonna put that in the outer V so we don't lose like the like so we can just like blend the shimmer in. And then with this brush, I'm gonna go in with that peach color we used and just again just blend any imperfections we So now I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. But I feel like so far, I love, love this, I love that palette. It gives me such, you know, like spring vibes. Like you can, I feel like with the palette, you can do like so many freaking cute looks. So for mascara, I'm going to go in with this cream shop, Whisk Me Away mascara. And it's so cute because like on the packaging, it has like lashes and like it's just like looking down. I don't know, it's like really cute. What does it say? I think this, because they have like a bunch of like lashes at CVS. And I think I got the one that's called Dramatic Effect. But it's just like the, and it comes in the pink box here. And it's just a black mascara. Like, it is a clump free formula, which is good. Because we, I don't, I don't, I don't know but, about y'all, yeah, but I do not like clumpy, clumpy lashes. It also says that evenly coat, coats lashes. God. Oh yeah, it looks like a freaking lipstick. What the hell? This looks like a liquid lipstick or something. Or like a concealer. I don't know. It looks like the... I think I think one of the very first ColourPop concealers. It looks like that. And it also <laughs> looks like one of the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks too. But I think it, I think this is what it's called. It's called Whisk Me Away here. So the, the wand looks like that. Okay, I really like it. It's really nice. I'm not gonna bold it up because I am gonna wear falsies. And the lashes that I'm gonna wear is by this new, I haven't really seen it. I got these at Walmart. They're Luna Magic exclusive um, lashes. And they're Latina owned. So if you're looking to support like, you know, um, Latina brands. I guess this is one so you can go for. They still, I got these at Walmart um, today actually. And these are in the style Happy X. And then I like the, like the, it has like a little message in the back. And it says, hashtag for the girl who walks away with confidence despite everything. And then it also, it also says in Spanish and it says, para la chica que sigue caminando a pesar de todo. I don't know, it's really cute. And it comes with two, of course, but I have mine trimmed and ready to go over here. Um, they're 100% vegan and cruelty-free. It also it also comes with a little cute message, like another really cute message. It says, made con amor from two Latina sisters for you. So it's made from love from two Latina sisters. I have a sister too. I only have one sibling who is old, who is older than me, but yet looks younger than me. These and the falsies are freaking cute. Falsies have like a really dramatic a look to them. Like I feel like I feel like my parents were probably be like, why are you wearing such dramatic lashes? Okay, so I'm gonna go with eyeliner and I'm gonna put that in my wa upper waterline. So now I'm gonna go in with my face and first I'm gonna go and use this elf soothing um, oil here but I'm also gonna go in with this pop beauty face magnet primer um, I'm pretty sure by the time you guys watch this video I probably have that video up for you about reviewing pop beauty and I actually have been liking the face magnet primer it's really good for me, it's hydrating surprisingly, um, but it gives you um, it gives you kind of like a matte finish. I'm just applying a little bit to like my T zone. It also like brightens your face too. So like you know, if you're not a morning person and you apply makeup in the morning, I know sometimes our faces can look a little bit a little bit drying. 
and this is a really good job with like just like brightening it up and you're just getting your your face ready for like all like the foundation and stuff so i'm gonna i'm, I'm going to apply foundation off camera because it's not really important i'm pretty sure you guys have seen so many reviews on this foundation but i'm gonna use the elf ccc ccc <laughs> i'm going to use the elf camo cc cream and i'm in the shade 210 n okay guys so i just applied foundation concealer and bronzer and i also picked up um this nyx professional sweet cheeks blush mousse well for like for some people it's you know cream blush and i was like okay you know let me get it but I'm going to use this because it's my first time using it and I'm excited because I've heard really good things about it. Two, put that. I'm going to put it like in the upper parts of my cheeks. Okay, so I'm going to go, um, I'm going to use this brush right here. It is a wide contour brush and it is from um, this brand right here called Sonia K. I cannot pronounce her last name, but they sell these brushes at Target. And I'm just gonna just blend that. That blends so nice. Oh wow. That blended like a dream, you guys. Oh my goodness. Here I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna grab a little bit more. Put it here. Wow, that that blend is so freaking nice. I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over with the foundation brush I used. Also, you guys, I got this from Essence, and it's actually really good because Essence is a really affordable brand that they saw at CVS and Ulta and I don't, I don't know how much this brush is but I think it was like four or five dollars maybe six but I'll put everything down below but it's actually really good I wasn't I didn't expect much of it but I mean the, the, the foundation looks pretty well blended for me I'm gonna go back with this cute palette and I'm gonna go in with this dark shade right here called drizzle and I'm gonna get a smudging brush here and I'm just gonna place that underneath my eye. I am going to get the brush that we applied this watermelon shade in. And I didn't I didn't dip my brush in there, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I'm just gonna blend that shade with that watermelon shade. I'm just gonna smudge it all over underneath my eye. So we can blend that dark shade. And then I'm going to go in with this peach color right here. And I'm going to dip that brush. Then I'm going to get this really, really clean, just creased blush right here. It has like no product in it. And I'm just going to blend everything here. Just so it could look really nice and blend it in into like you know the um the foundation and stuff and the concealer that i applied this brush is also from essence it's the eye blender brush and then i think i forgot to mention it but the other one is called the makeup buffer brush and it's so cute because the little um font of it is like the cutest thing i love that font it's really really nice so for highlighter, I'm going to get this very light shade right here. It's called Rind. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner. So for the lips, I'm going to use this Milani Color Statement Lip Liner. And this is in the shade um, number 4. And it's called All Natural. It's like the perfect like nude lip liner. Okay, I'm gonna move on to like the cutest lipstick. I probably the cutest like one of the cutest lipsticks I have, and this is from the current shop times Hello Kitty. Oh my god, I just appreciate this packaging right here. 
I love, love, love Hello Kitty. And I think they had like a bunch of like different, um, um, different Hello Kitty ones. I think they had a strawberry one and a peach one. But I got this, um, kind of like neutral. Like the color is, it's like right here. It's like a neutral, um, color. And this is, this is in the shade called Birthday Babe. And it also says that it is birthday cake flavored. Oh my god, it has like a little bowl when you open it. And this says that it is a nurturing lip balm with a sweet kiss of color to help lips stay soft and moisturized. But it looks like this with the cute Hello Kitty packaging. But it's just like a really, really nude shade. It doesn't smell like anything though. I don't know about the birth birthday cake flavor. Ooh, this is like the perfect nude like lip balm. It's really, really cute. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm just gonna go in with this LA color highlight. It was it's a dollar from it's, it's from it's from the Dollar Tree. And you know, Dollar Tree is only a dollar. I love love this highlighter. It's like the most like perfect, like subtle glow. Like for me, it's like you know, um, it's a highlighter that makes you, that makes it look like you're glowing, but from within. So it's not like too, I don't like highlighters that are like really popping out there. It's just like not my preference. I prefer highlighters that are more subtle and just look natural, you know? Yeah, guys, that is, this is the final look. You know, I just can't believe that this palette, I have not heard much of this palette. The colors performed amazing, you guys. Um, it's the perfect travel size. I feel like um, it's a palette I'll be able to reach a lot in the spring and summer. Like, I'll be able to make a lot, a lot of cute looks with this, like, right now. Because, uh, I've been seeing so many dresses at Target. Like, so many, like, spring and, like, maxi dresses at Target. And this looks so freaking cute. And, like, I feel like this palette fits them all, you know? It's so adorable. So, I quickly just took off my headband because it was kind of bothering me. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about the products. Um, but this lash, um, this mascara, I mean, is really, really good. I actually like it. I did a really good job of like, like brushing my lashes and not making them clumpy. You know, giving them the volume that I want. And these lashes, you guys, are, I love them. Really, really nice, you know? I like it. Oh my gosh, I literally just forgot. I was like, I'm forgetting something right now. And I forgot to put mascara underneath my lashes. Overall, you guys, I really, really love this palette. And if you can, go to CVS or go to like the cream shop website and order it. Because it is so freaking cute. But yeah, I think overall, this was a pretty... I like this, like all the makeup that I just like, you know, um, tried out. I hope you guys like the final look and the result. And I, I will link everything down below from like the bronzer I used because I didn't mention a lot of stuff. Um, like what I'm wearing right now, I'll put it all down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.